Hi everyone, our subject today is palpitation in pediatric. Palpitation are defined as a subjective feeling or awareness of an irregular or rapid beating of the heart. They may also be described as bounding in the chest, skipped beats or fluttering. Palpitation are often of the most common cardiac complaints encountered but they correspond poorly to demonstrable abnormality. Inquire about the duration of symptoms, whether uh, the onset and termination of symptoms are subtle or apparent, and the factors associated with the onset, uh, examples such as exercise or termination, uh, like valve maneuver. Infant may manifest non-specific symptoms of irritability and poor feeding. Some cases may progress to congestive heart failure prior to identification of an abnormal rhythm. When appropriate, consider instructing parents on how to take the child pulse during the future episode. Special attention should be paid to a history of structural cardiac abnormalities or cardiac surgery because these uh, factors increase the risk of both arrhythmias and adverse outcome associated with them. Certain medication can be responsible for arrhythmia. Symptoms suggestive of endocrine disorder may also indicate etiologies. A social history should investigate stress level, caffeine intake, and tobacco use. Familial disorder that may be a cause of palpitation include Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, Long QT syndrome. Uh, deafness is associated with one of these inherited syndrome. And Kyrene's Sairi syndrome, retinal degeneration, ophthalmoplegia, and muscle weakness. Physical examination, vital sign, heart rate, and blood pressure should be referenced to normal values for age in both in the supine and upright position. Skin, examine the color and for sign of hyperthyroidism or anemia. Hint, examine the eye for the exophthalmus and the neck for the goiter. Lungs, Examine for tachypnea and rails suggestive of congestive heart failure. Cardiovascular, auscultate for any heart murmur, galop, click, rhythm, irregularity, and splitting of the second heart sound. The extremities should be assessed for the quality of peripheral pulses and any evidence of edema. Psychiatric evaluation of the mental status should include uh, assessing for any evidence of anxiety, depression, panic disorder, or substance abuse. How to approach to a child with palpitation after performing history and physical examination? Is the symptom associated with the syncope exertion or severe chest pain? If it is yes, consult cardiology. Uh, differential diagnosis may include arrhythmia, cardiomyopathy, anomalous coronary artery, and other cardiac disorder. If it is uh, not, perform ECG. If it is normal result or sinus tachycardia, is there drug history or medication use? If it is yes, maybe caffeine, nicotine, medication, decongestant, albitrol, and other drug. If it is no, there is no history of medication, is there sign or symptom suggestive of anemia or thyroid disease? If it is yes, obtain CBC or thyroid study. If it is abnormal, this is either anemia or hyperthyroidism. If it is a normal result or there is no sign of symptom suggestive of thyroid, then do consider cardiac consult versus halter or event monitor. If it is uh, abnormal result or abnormal ECG, a differential diagnosis may include sinus arrhythmia, premature ventricular contracture, premature atrial contracture, contraction, uh, supraventricular tachycardia, wolf parkinson weiss syndrome, other re-entrant tachycardia, atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, ectopic tachycardia, 
atrial multifocal junctional long QT syndrome borgada syndrome ventricular tachycardia structural or myocardial abnormality myocarditis hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and other if it is normal result, differential diagnosis may include resolved arrhythmias or premature beats, a drug including tobacco, caffeine, arteriovenous malformation, pheochromocytoma, hypoglycemia, and anxiety, hyperventilation, and fever. Recommended investigation, ECG to diagnose arrhythmia, SVT, sinus tachycardia, or Wolf-Parkinson-Weiss syndrome, 24-hour ECG monitor. Full blood count to check the HB for anemia. Uh, to, uh, thyroid function test to diagnose hyperthyroidism. Urea and electrolyte mainly to check for a potassium level that may aggravate arrhythmia. Chest X-ray may be helpful showing cardiac enlargement in cases of heart failure. Treadmill exercise test may help reveal any exercise-induced arrhythmia. Top tips. Sinus arrhythmia, increasing heartbeat in inspiration, slowing down in expiration is normal in a new net and older children. It becomes accentuated during activity. If the history suggestive of arrhythmia and the examination is normal, 24-hour ECG monitor is indicated. Most patients with palpitation do not have a cardiac lesion. Although a diagnosis of cardiac arrhythmia can often be made during the attack, between attack heart and ECG may be entirely normal. Exception to this are Wolf-Parkinson-Weiss syndrome associated with SVT and Long QT syndrome. The treatment of uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder with the stimulant methamphetamine and amphetamine has been a common uh, practice for decades. Common side effects include insomnia, nervousness, and palpitation. In consideration the differential diagnosis of palpitation due to arrhythmia, the two important common diagnoses are SVT or ectopic beats. Ectopic beats are harmless provided there is no heart disease, anemia, or thyrotoxicosis. Sudden onset of tachycardia in association with the dizziness and dyspnea is very suggestive of SVT. It is uncertain whether sport participation is a risk factor for sudden cardiac death as sudden cardiac death may also occur in recreational activity, quiet time, and sleep. Red flag. The normal pulse of an awake infant younger than three months or range between 100 and 220 per minute. Sinus arrhythmia is normal and it is abnormal for a child not to have sinus arrhythmia. A child with palpitation and pallor with a heart murmur should not be diagnosed as having cardiac lesion. The murmur may be a hemic functional murmur with the disappears once the anemia is corrected. Palpitation is more serious if it is associated with chest pain, shortness of breath, fainting, or in the presence of cardiac disease. Urgent evaluation is needed. SVT in a young child present as congestive cardiac failure. Conversion SVT to sinus rhythm is urgently required. Be aware that palpitation could occasionally be a risk factor for sudden cardiac death in young. The other associated features include episode of chest pain, syncope, long QT syndrome in the ECG. Pheochromocytoma is rare but potentially fatal unless recognized and treated. Children may present with sweating, syncope, and palpitation.